Uh, surprise, surprise. This really will be my final video. Uh, but I think Barbara Ross, just a hour ago or so, he brought up a valid point. I want to talk about it for however long or briefly I need to. Uh, it's about a phenomenon that I'll be calling uh, MRA, uh, men going their own way, groupism. Now, I talk about in this video, and Barbara, Barbara Ross talks about it elsewhere, how women are going to want to offer a truce. And this truce uh, is going to be a deception. Now, uh, I have no issues using biblical allegory, even though I don't believe in any of it. Uh, but still, I mean, this idea in a way is... <laughs> Don't take it too seriously, but you can see the, the sort of the analogy here that you know you have the idea of some sort of antichrist-like figure coming back, trying to make uh, make nice with everyone, all the also all the while deceiving the people uh, he's trying to make nice with. Well, uh, you know, the uh, the apple doesn't uh, fall too far uh, away from the tree. Do we say that in English, or maybe it's a German expression? Sorry, my even though I'm a native speaker, my English is really rusty these days because I almost never speak it. Anyway. <laughs> that's a ram that's total rambling. What I wanted to say, uh, MRI groupism. We're going to see, uh, I think, a continuous influx and increase in the number of females professing to have either an interest in an MRA or being an MRA or having interest in, in uh, men going their own way or the principles behind it and so on and so forth. And uh, Barros brings up a very valid point uh, as to what... Uh, it's distinguishing between those groupies, MRI groupies, uh, and legitimate female MRIs, such as Girl Rights What. Um, and I think it's it's actually pretty easy to distinguish. If you if they actually per if someone if a female claim uh, claiming to be interested or a member of the MRI actually publishes, by publish I mean writes some comments, you can really decode all of that. This, uh, I'm sorry, I'll say an uncrystal 82, I believe, who claim that men need to do more of this, and they need to become politically active, they need nah, nah, nah. Uh, cl Clearly, she's a phony. I re read through her comments again after posting the last video. It's it's, it's uh, phony baloney, baloney phony. It's, um, so, and, and uh, as I mentioned in the other video, the important way of recognizing that she doesn't say, yeah, women need to own their own, she own up to the bullshit that they pull. They need to start handling shit on their own. That's what Girl Rights West says. Uh, that's what the few others, I don't know my name, I've seen on occasion uh, talk about. This woman who was writing all these comments was just going on, well, men need to become more politically active, and they need to do this and that, and women aren't taught this, and then, and then, hollow words. But we'll see an increase of that. Uh, the interesting thing about this um, is, I think this is in part attributable to the rising growing prominence of Girl Rights What. The fact that, as is manif manifestly the case, true and obvious, that by dint of the fact that she's a female, by dint of the fact that her language, I would say, is a bit more toned down than, say, mine is, or Barbarossa's, by dint of all these things, she attracts a wider audience. He's the only MRA who, I think, who probably could tr attract uh, your, your typical female. The question is, the question I've been asking myself for the last hour or so is, once attracted to, the, so, attracted, I don't like the term, but once interested in the MRA movement as a whole, whatever you want to call it, how legitimate is that interest? If the interest was spawned by watching a couple of Girl Rights What's videos, uh, well, maybe it's there. On the other hand, the person, as I suspect is the case with this poster, who's interested in these videos, a girl who's watched videos, might watch it and think, hmm, yeah, now she might have a point. But the, the point is, as long as the base mentality is there, as, as Girl Rights What said, simply is, as long as that, that is there, you know, the mentality of self-entitlement, of all these things, everything needs to be done for women, and men need to do more and this and that, if, if that's the haze, the, fog, the hazy fog, and they're trapped in that, you, they, they cannot see beyond, they're not going to be legitimately interested in the MRA. I mean, like I said, if women were, who were allegedly interested in this kind of, in our issues, were really interested, and actually uh, said things along the lines of, yeah, if I were a guy, I wouldn't date a single woman either, and da-da-da, you get on the same... Um, 
you, you know, you could you could ally yourself with someone like that. However, that doesn't seem the case. The vast majority of cases, I I uh, expect a larger insurgence of uh, of these sorts of females popping up, posting comments. I mean, because the deceptive thing is they, they tend not to be insulting. They, they actually are, they claim not to be feminist, and maybe they aren't feminist per se, but they still have the fem they still have the female feminist, as I like to call it, with it with a lowercase f mentality behind them. And this will occur more and more as time goes on. And it would be part of the truce. And the important thing is to be able to see part past the deception. If it's a deception, if they are not legitimate, there are ways of detecting that. Uh, the, the argument that Dog Boy had with, with on, on Crystal was very clear. Uh, I mean, some of the stuff she was presenting, this idea that mm, women are irrational, yet they could be trained to be right, it was just so far out there. Um, and yet, she, interestingly enough, and which was something that led me to this conclusion, she allied herself with uh, with the Girl Rights Watch. It's how she learned about all of this. And I suspect many women will be. It doesn't mean they actually agree with what Girl Rights What uh, says or believes. In fact, as I said, I think Girl Rights What, for better or worse, has male brain wiring. Uh, the vast majority of females don't have that. They're going to watch her videos and they might nod their, their heads in agreement, but in actuality, in reality, and how they behave, nothing's going to happen. You know, Girl Rights What said it herself today. It's not going to happen. Most females won't do it. Um, and of course, any woman offer, who offers the vault, you know she's not going to be a team player. A team player, I mean, she's not interested, legitimately interested in men's rights and uh, things of that nature. Just very clear. Uh, if some a woman uses the vault, she's just not there. So I, like I said, there will be more infiltration. Um, we need to keep on our toes about this. Um, I'm not going to block or ban. I don't. I tend not to do that unless they're totally obnoxious and consistent about it. Uh, any of these uh, pseudo groupy females who uh, become aware of my channel or other channels through Girl Rights What, uh, it's fine. They can hang out there. But I think we all recognize, as was evidenced by the rather lengthy discussion that Dog Boy had with on Crystal that just because a woman professes interest in the MRA, in fact, let me, let me uh, you know, remind you of, of one comment that she, she made. Uh, she said, uh, I have to, can I, can I call, find it here? Well, she basically said that I don't think I'm that, that different to other women, blah, blah, blah. So the idea is that not only are not all women like that, I, 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 I not, I'm not like that, but also uh, most women aren't like that. that that's, so you really need to um, so you really need to uh, yeah, just be on the lookout for this. Uh, there's nothing, this video isn't anything special. But you need to be on the look, look at them about this stuff. Because if you're not, uh, we will be infiltrated. In fact, I think the infiltration, infiltration is beginning now. Uh, but I think, you know, as a final point, the, what, I said, what I've said many times is that what, what, uh, what, uh, what holds to be true, what remains true, is just never trust a woman. It's really simple. Don't trust her when she says things. Uh, examine what she says. Not that it always helps, but so you know, that's the simple rule, and I don't think you can really fail with that. The, to to go, to earn trust or in any form or fashion, you know, you need to produce the kind of material that girl rights what has, where she literally she does say women need to own up to their bullshit. Uh, until I hear one of these groupies say something to that effect in a consistent and rational fashion, then uh, I, uh, I'm not buying it, and you guys shouldn't either. Uh, you know, the, 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 these women who are actually for our interests, or at least legitimately sympathetic to our interests, they either, 
uh, not even microbacteria in the cosmos. I mean, we're talking about uh, pan-dimensional microbacteria. We're talking about, uh, yeah, you, you get what I mean. Anyway, sorry for this totally incoherent bit of whatever, but I, I thought it was really important to address before I plunge myself in the depths of, of overwork and, and uh, unenjoyable labor starting tomorrow. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching.